to build the million houses. And to the extent that it created that impression, yes, I will say I apologize for having made people believe that I meant for like So guys, welcome back to the WSXM channel. You don't know, my name is Teflon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for returning. So, Julius Malema spoke in, the par in Parliament and accused um, President Ramaphosa of lying about um, he's going to build a million homes in an area in South Africa and he they only build like 5,000. And President Ramaphosa is acting as if he forget what he said. So, um, and he's trying to dance around it. But listen to how calm and collective Julius Malema brought this to his attention and tell him he must apologize for lying to his citizens about building a million homes. Take a listen. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, and, uh, I can see uh, those guys who are working on your eyes are doing a good job because there is some improvement. Uh, President, it is leadership to admit when you have made a mistake. You can't come here and say you never promised the people of Alexander one million houses. You said so. You said you are going to build one million houses for the people of Alexander. And knowing you being a legally trained person, like you said, you are not an illiterate who just speaks without knowing what he's speaking about. And being a president, before you take a stage, your back office would have given you the necessary information which is relevant to this place where you are. You are. So it is important that today you admit that you made a mistake because those people are dying. Uh, some of them stayed at Straitler. Uh, and uh, as a result, that land is not for human settlement. And when you created that impression, a lot of expectation was made. We're dealing with human beings here who have got feelings. And when a president speaks, they've got their expectation, you know, high because they know it's not a lesser authority speaking. Our fighter was killed, Moshem Patel, in Alexander, fighting for people to occupy the containers, rightful people to occupy the containers because of that daily struggle of housing in Alex. Now we have lost our honorary commissar during the battle for occupation of these containers. In his honor and in the honor of the poor of the poorest, people who are sleeping with the rats, people who are staying in places where there is no proper sanitation and water, in their honor, I think it is a correct thing to say I'm sorry, I've made a miscalculation, and I said 1 million houses instead of 40,000 uh, houses. Because to say you have not said it, you are now becoming a professional politician who can just say this today and turn against it tomorrow and his business as usual. So, Honorable with Malema, little resource you have to left, uh, with the little numbers that you have now, maybe this will help you to regain some confidence. Alexander, thank you. And before we listen to what Ralph was said, um, listen to what Julius Malema said, which is true. If a president promised a million homes, people are going to be looking forward to a million homes. I mean, and he said he did that to get votes. And this is what irks, this is what hurts me so much again with South Africa citizens, some of them. Julius Malema, a member of his EFF party, who was championing this, lose their land, lose his life over this issue when it was fighting for the citizens um to gain um get some home homes that um, they can live in so they don't have to be homeless but yet ramaphosa the president of south africa who didn't build not even 10 percent of what he said he was going to build he only built forty thousand homes when he promised a million well 10 percent of that would be a hundred thousand so he built, he built less than five percent of what he said he was going to build and these said people, about 12 million citizens, still voted for the ANC party to stay in power, to continue along this trajectory. Because don't forget, Africa, South Africa has the highest unemployment rate in the world. So if I'm not mistaken, don't call it but they have high, 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 high unemployment rate. They, they, in the past, um, in like the last, in last election cycle, they lost over six million jobs, the ANC party. But yet people still voted for for ramp also. This is what I can't understand. Anyway, let's listen to what to the response of um Mr. Ramaphosa 
if you're gonna actually apologize or if you're gonna dance around the issue or what if you're gonna sidestep it under the whole politician slick talk mushavi let me start by extending my condolences for the passing of Mpashele. I had wanted to call you, but I then got distracted <clears throat> by a whole number of things. I felt very sad uh, when that incident happened because uh, Mpashele was an important leader in your party. So mm -hmm. my condolences. In addressing <clears throat> precisely the point that you are making, we took care to go back to that recording and listen to it. And I had a number of people in my office listening to it and interpreting it because and to the extent, Honorable Malema, that uh, it created this impression that I said a million houses for Alexander, which objectively would not be possible anyway because we just don't have the land there now let me stop with you for a minute did you hear what he just said he promised people up a million home but is he gonna say they shouldn't look for it you know because number one there's no land there to do it so why did you promise the people them this if they if you know they it, um it's a well i know why he did it to gain votes but why is it the people not holding him accountable the citizen who voted for him to become the first party, over 12 million citizens voted for him. When he's saying here, well, oh, you shouldn't even expect a million home because even though I said so, you don't have a space for me to put it. So that's why you didn't get it. You see, he's already given a politician um, response. But let me continue. See if he's going to actually apologize or admit to actually saying, yes, he's going to build a million home, but he, re he reneged on it. To build the million houses. And to the extent that it created that impression, yes, I will say I apologize for having made people believe that I meant for Alexander. What I really meant was, yes, we would want to build a million houses for the whole country. And as it turned out, of course, we, did, we never really reached even that target. Um, you see, I'm not going to finish even watch that speech because I don't know, we don't hear the answer. He's saying he said he was gonna build a million homes for the entire country, not for Alexander. But that's not what I tell the people in Alexander when they're campaigning. He said they're gonna build them a million homes. And he, he even though he apologizes, he was a half apology because he said he apologized for creating narrative that you're gonna build a million homes for Alexander. You're gonna be he, he he meant what he meant was this is his words, he meant he's gonna build a million homes for the entire country which he still never even did. So even though you lied either way, so he's still trying to dance around the fact that he lied to the people about a million homes, and he's finding like an excuse, oh, it's bad wording, it didn't, it didn't, that was a, a, a mix-up and all of that. And yet, again, the people who actually fought for you to have those homes, I mean, the EFF member who lost his life, they still... Going to the EFF party as the worst party, they get like a million and change votes. Of for all the people them um that they helped and they help a lot of people. So they did more for people than the government did. But yet they still get voted again because they don't like um Bill Malema tone. Uh, some of them saying he's not South African enough. He's I see again that they see the whole thing came back he's not South African enough. Every single party, there was eleven party, all all the other ten parties campaign against the EFF party. Why? Why is it it took 10 parties to campaign against one party? None of them went at the ruling party and the mistakes and what they did, the, 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 the theft of millions and billions of rand, the, the, the lying about um, building economical homes, they lie about give, giving jobs and they lost over 6 million jobs. They, they, the, the, the big families are using the, the, the central bank as their own piggy bank. So all of this, and they still voted for Ramaphosa was over, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, 12 million votes. President, um, leader, Julius Malema, who is actually doing the work and giving them facts and drawing attention to things that's not being done to the country, he is the one who they hate, while this one is over here skating scat-free. 
the where's the logic in it? That's what I, I can't understand South African citizens with this tribal mentality. Now they actually said that um Julius Malema is not South African. They said this, even though he was born there. Because one of his players, I think, is from Zimbabwe. You see, this the self-hate is real, and they put in the DA party to rule with the GNU, with the whole GNU government of natural uh, of national unity. And the first out of business, the white. Speaker of the House from the DA party in who is running the House now in the the, 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 the Parliament of um, South Africa stated they're going to ban all African language speaking in, in the chamber. They're going to have to be only speak English. These are the people they want to represent them. They found how much le members of the of the DA party who had um some less than colorful things to say about black people. Yeah, some of them painted their face in black. But these people you want to rule and say, oh, they're doing, they're doing a good job. They're actually saying the DA party is doing a good job. You put back your oppressors in power, and they're going to show you laughing in your face while stabbing you in your back. So they're going to laugh in your face and say, oh, they're here to help. But while in, 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 in behind you, they're putting in laws and regulations to protect, protect themselves against black people and, against, and to benefit, enrich and benefit themselves while you stay poor. 90% of South Africa is poor. And it's five big families like basically have all the, fun, all the money in, um, in South Africa. There's not much rich black families there. I think it, they're all white. So anyway, this, it, it boggles my mind the, 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 the depth and the, of how our own people fight against our own people. So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section about um, what I just spoke about, buddy. Just, uh, not just my, my money, my, sorry. What Robert Posa did and still doing and joining up with the DA party and what they're trying to do by banning every other language from speaking in the chamber, only English. For those who voted for this, I hope they got what they, they, they what This is what they wanted. Anyway, let me think about it in the comment section. You don't know. My name is Teflon. Thanks for watching. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Boom.